Hello and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In this video, I'll discuss how to practice and execute double tonguing on the trombone. Double tonguing is the articulation technique that I like to use if I have to play something fast or technical on the trombone. In this video, I'll cover how you can practice the syllables off the horn, and then we'll move into a few practice exercises to help us execute double tonguing on the trombone. Before we jump into that, I wanna thank everybody out there who's been watching these videos and supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. And in the upcoming weeks, I'll be launching a Patreon page, which will be another way for you to continue to show your support. In the meantime, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up on whenever I put out a new video. The reason I like to use the da ga da ga da syllables is because it helps create a smooth sound in the articulation. So similar to like if we were playing legato single tongue and we would say da 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 da, the da ga da symbol can help match that sound more easily. One of the most important things to practice when double tonguing is having a good command of the syllable that's on the upbeat. So in this case, since we're using da ga da ga da, having command over the ga syllable is really important. The way that we practice and start developing our double tonguing is simply by saying the syllables over and over. Da ga da ga da ga da. Da ga da ga da ga da. What we want to do is start to let our tongue get the feeling of how it should be embellishing the airstream. Now, one of the most important things I want you to remember with double tongue is it's not actually what the tongue is doing, it's about how it gets out the way after it's used. With any articulation, it's important to remember that after the tongue embellishes the airstream, it should go back to its resting place. So if we're going da, ga, da, ga, da, ga, da, it's all about how the tongue gets out the way after it uses either one of those syllables. So once you've got the hang of saying the syllables da, ga, da, ga, da, I think you should go straight into practicing the ga syllables on the off beats. So instead of da, ga, da, just practice ga, 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 ga. Now what that's going to do is it's going to start to inform your body what it feels like when you're just using that ga syllable. Ga 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 ga. The articulation should technically sound the same to our ears, but we're just starting to learn how the tongue is used to embellish that airstream. Now at this point, before you pick up the instrument, I would say you practice those syllables without using the word da ga da, just use the air. Now it could sound like I'm saying tuku tuku tu, but I'm really saying da ga da ga da. The body should start to get informed that the sound of the articulation is what's happening out at the bell, not necessarily what we're doing with our tongue. So practice just with the air. Now let's pick up the instrument and start to use some of these syllables while we're creating a tongue. So let's start off using the articulation da ga da ga da. You're just trying to match the syllable that you're saying with the sound of the articulation. Now we'll just use the ga 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 syllable, which is what's happening on the upbeat. You want to try to match the sound of the previous articulation. Now let's take the first five notes of a major scale and practice just using da ga da ga da on each note. You want to try to make these as even as possible 
and make it sound as effortless as possible, even though we're at a slow tempo. Now we'll match the sound of the previous articulation just using ga 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 ga. This will help you get control of the articulation on the upbeats. Now let's start to coordinate the slide movement with the articulation. The first two times I'm using da ga da ga da, second two times it's ga 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 ga. Now that we've gotten the feel for this slowly, let's speed it up a little bit. Switch to the ga 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 syllable. Now speed this exercise up more and start to work it up in half steps. We want a light slide hand and we want the tongue to just embellish the airstream. As you go higher and higher, make sure you stay relaxed. Now it's time to play the entire scale from top to bottom. The reason I'm playing it in this grouping is because it keeps the syllables on an even number. This is a good way to practice when we're just getting used to coordinating all these different movements. And remember to get the tongue out of the way when you're done using it. Now let's look at the really tricky thing about double tonguing, and that's tonguing across partials. So we're just taking a major arpeggio here, and we're going to keep the same da-ga-da-ga-da -da 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 articulation. Practice these exercises with a metronome and start as slowly as you need to. As we speed up the arpeggio, we want to keep the tongue as light as possible. Just let the air do the work. Here's a line I came up with in B flat minor that incorporates a little bit of everything that we've talked about so far. I wrote a few alternate positions in there to keep the slide movement as smooth as possible. As you speed this line up, remember, you're just embellishing a long tone. Double tonguing can be tricky, but I think it's an important tool to have in your arsenal as a trombonist. Regardless of what syllable you use for the articulation, I think you should practice it off the horn first and then start developing it on the instrument. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time at the Chop Shop.